Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about something called partials. Now the word partial is exactly what it means. In Ruby on Rails terms, we're going to use it in a way to keep the static parts of our pages actually static. So when you think about headers or navigation bars or footers, those are things that I'd rather stay the same most of the time. So we want to separate that out from the part of the web page that does change. And that's what we're going to try to look at today. But before we do that, let's change up our root. And what the root is, it's it's pretty much our URL without anything attached to the end of the .com part. So we're gonna change that to catalogs, uh, catalogs hash index, if I can type here. And this is referring to catalogs index, but in our catalogs controller, if you remember, there's no index function. So that's something that we have to create. So we do def index, and we do an end. So now, if we go back to our web page, this is the link that we would refer to as the root. So localhost 3000 would be something like project projectmeo.com. So at the end of the .com, there's nothing attached to the end. So that would be called the root. So if we go to here, then it will give us uh, give us a message. Now, right now, it's giving us an error. That's because we didn't create a view for it. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to catalog, start a new file, and we'll just save this file as index.html.erp. Now, let's give it something to say so that we know that it's working. It's working. So let's just say that and go back and refresh our page. Now we're getting somewhere. Now it says it's working. Great. We have a somewhat functioning page, but not really that exciting. So let's go back and try to make things more snazzy. Now, what we have under the views folder is something called the layouts. The layouts is where we keep our partials. And in this layouts folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to name this file underscore header. That is how you differentiate between partials and non-partials and it's going to have the, the format html.erb as always. So having an underscore in this first name indicates that is it, it is a partial. It is part of a layout and partials, all your partials should be under the layouts folder, well most of the time, but normal pages like index.html.erb, they would not have the underscore in front of the name because they're not partials. So Let's say we have this partial now, but before we get to that partial, we want to edit our application.html.erb because that is where everything starts. You know, when you go to a web page, when you when you inspect it, look at a source code, it usually starts with this doc type HTML and then the HTML tag and then so on. So we want to edit this a little bit. So we have the HTML, we have the head, but we're gonna add, let's say, a meta tag. So we'll just do a meta. We're gonna do the name, viewport. Um, the content is with device with. Now this is something that works for me. It's what I learned when when I was first starting out with Ruby on Rails. Um, you can change it to whatever kind of parameters you want, but this is the ones I go with. Doesn't really mean anything, so I'm not gonna really explain it. But we'll just leave it at that. And we're gonna name that. We're just gonna keep the title right now. We're gonna add a script tag. Now you can see that I'm using Ruby tags here. By doing this arrow signs and having the percent sign in between it and the and the and the and the equal sign, this is really kind of like a, a, a echo mark. If you're if you're used to P, uh, coding in PHP, it tells us to print whatever is in there. So we're gonna do a style sheet link tag. And we're gonna put in application. The media is gonna be all. And we're gonna have data turbo links track, which is set to true. And JavaScript, we're gonna have a JavaScript include tag. Well, actually, this was already written up for us, so we didn't have to write that. I didn't even see it. But that is automatically generated for us. So our JavaScript on our style sheet is generated for us. What it'll do is it'll look for the JavaScript CSS and application JS and load it. And the CSRF tag, meta tags are for cross site scripting. So it's pretty much for security reasons. But what we're gonna render is we're gonna render something called layouts shim. And I'm just gonna explain that in a, in a moment, but we're just gonna go ahead 
and create a partial for it. So this is the, our first lesson in creating a partial. So we're going to do a shim underscore shim dot html dot erb, and we're going to put a little bit of comments in there. We're just going to put that in there, and that's the end of that. That's all we're ever going to do with this file. What it does is because Internet Explorer is really the bad child in terms of internet browsers, it's really hard to work with. This script kind of makes it much more easier to work with. That's all it does. So for our Internet Explorer users, the site is actually usable for them. So let's go back to our application, uh, html.erb, and continue on. So we have our body tag. We're going to put in a class. And this is for a later lesson. It's gonna affect. It's gonna affect um, the page later on. So I'm not gonna explain it now. But we're just gonna leave this there. And we're gonna do another thing here. We're gonna do a render of our layouts header. So that's part of the header file that we've just created a few moments ago. And the class is going to be container fluid, which is, I believe, a bootstrap, um, a Twitter bootstrap class. So nothing new there. And then we're going to do a little bit, adding some stuff here to make life easier. Again, this is stuff that I'll explain at a later date. but. This code that I'm writing now, flash key value, is for error handling. So you know, whenever you get, uh, whenever you get errors in some pages, uh, a pop-up will show up indicating that there's some sort of error with a red background or yellow background. So that's what this handles. And this flash each is really how you kind of iterate through an array, and really it's it's just like a for loop. So so, and a for loop is, well, it's something I won't get into, but it just loops through uh, kind of like a queue to pop things out to the user to display. So that's what this flash each does. And we're going to add another div, and it's going to have the class of row. Again, this is another kind of bootstrap thing, and this is going to yield a sidebar, which I will talk about in a later class. So a lot of stuff that that we will go into and talk about at a later date, but we just want to set this up right now so so as to save time later on. And we got to end with a div. And yeah, so let's just keep it with that. And we're going to fill out our header file in the next video because it's quite a bit of code. So why don't you just take that back and try to absorb it? Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll talk more about this header.